big drop down there. All right, let's go, little mirror. Welcome to the channel. Don't mind me, I'm just falling down my stairs. So most weekends you'd sit there and you'd relax. Um, you watch a bit of YouTube, you know that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I was there relaxing, watching a bit of YouTube and it was raining, so we couldn't really work on the cars today. However, I was watching a bunch of Japanese videos and they got me really, really inspired. And thankfully the rain has let up for a little while. It's behind me just here. So I'm gonna go down and play with one of the cars. And by one, I mean probably most of them. <laughs> So I have to prep one of my cars to go down to a smash repairer in the coming weeks to get repaired. Um, this car hasn't had much airtime on the channel, so I'm looking forward to showing you the car. So I'm bringing all the keys down to start them all up and we'll see if they all start. Some of them have been sitting for a couple of weeks, so I'm not sure if they're all going to start. However, I've got some jumper leads and a bit of fuel, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, and as for what I want to play with. So another reason I want to move some of these cars as well is because I need to get this car that I want to play with out of the garage, which is between these guys here. Man, look at this nice storm though, it looks so pretty. That was really cool. At least the car's got a free bath. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see if some of these guys start. I've got to get my bike out. I'm going to move the Skyline and I'm going to move the mirror, uh, the MX-5, and then I'm going to move the mirror. Uh, and then I will get this out. First things first, let's get this guy on the grass. forward to playing around with it in future. Should be pretty good. That is the weirdest head deck I've ever seen in my life. What is that? What? Okay. I have never
never noticed that before. <laughs> so the previous owner to this had a race seat in it and they vaulted the factory seat to the floor. Right, this can stay here for a sec while we roll the Skyline back. There you go, little MX. So low to the ground. Look at that, it's like up to my ankle. Okay. I gotta buy a drift button. Stay 32. Yes, see, that's what I was worried about. Just a little bit like that. As you can see, a couple of weeks ago, the 32 made a bit of a mess. So getting that off the bitumen, I think it's called. Bitumen, bitumen. Getting it off the bitumen won't be fun. Oh, I keep forgetting that the seat is bolted to the floor. Get in gear. Okay, so it is in gear. Wow, it's a cute little gearbox. Oh no, I can't see out the back window. This is gonna be fun. So small. Oh, there's my flat. Heck, it's, it'll be fine like this. Let's put some music on. I haven't listened to the radio in years. There we go. What do we got? <laughs> okay. Sure. Such cool little cars. They're so tiny. I've got an MX-5 and I still think it's smaller than the, uh, than the L200 mirror. Let's see if the little mirror is going to start or if the battery is absolutely dead as well. So this is my little L200 mirror. Very, very cool little car. And I love it. I love it a lot. I ended up importing a whole bunch of stuff for it over from Japan because um, my country doesn't really support parts for these things. So I got a lot of my stuff through Jesse Streeter um, and Yahoo Japan. So things like the burger tray here. They're cool little aftermarket additions that just kind of go in there. I haven't put the, um, uh, sorry, I haven't double-sided taped it down yet or anything yet. I think a little, there's a little plate that goes in here. You can also get like an aftermarket analog clock, but I've just got a, a little boost gauge in there at the moment because this is an EFJL mirror. So it is a little turbo mirror uh, and they've got the smallest turbo you've ever seen. <laughs> like the intake for this turbo is like the size of a 20 cent piece. All right, fingers crossed, it starts. I think the battery's gonna be dead though, yes. That, or I might have disconnected the battery. Let's find out. It is a little dirty. Um, I haven't been able to drive it lately, so unfortunately it's been a little neglected. Which is a shame because I love driving this thing. It's so much fun. And it sounds ridiculous. And look at my bov. Wow. Just sitting here for a couple of weeks is like covered. Oh, okay, battery. Hmm. All right, we might need the MX-5 to start this little guy. Come here, MX-5. And 32, you have the jumper cables. There they are. Dum, dum, dum. Ugh. No boot, don't do this again. Thank you. I accidentally turned on my valet on the boot a couple of weeks ago and it was a pain to get it off. If you guys don't know what valet is, it's this little thing. Oh man, rain, go away. This is not usually a problem. This is probably because I have no towel right now. Um, valet is this little switch down here and what you do is you pull that up and down and that will make it so you cannot get into the boot with the boot latch. I think it's so, it's called valet, so when you park your car and obviously have a back seat, uh, the valet guys can't get into your boot and steal anything if you're paranoid. I have to cover that back up. Sorry Skyline.
La 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 la. La la. Ah, oh, I'm going to move my seat again. Gotta keep forgetting that. Where is the boot latch in this thing? There it is. No, that's a fuel. Where is the boot latch? It's another problem with having so many cars. Boot latch. Nope. I'm trying to find the boot latch. Do these things not have boot latches? <laughs> I'll leave my space saver. It's got like a little rubber thing on it. Okay. Just put some tape over what? Oh, over the... Oh, that's a whole different cut. And that's a different cut. That is literally the sun has destroyed this. Yeah, wow. Beep. Spiders have taken a liking to the mirror and have started building little spider webs everywhere. And I come out every couple of days and just clear them off, but they keep coming back. This is not your home. Go away. Spideys. Blah. Pew. Hiding from the rain again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking intensively. This is my cool old school seat. It is called a it is called a Rev Alter, the alluring brand that is Alter. Old school race seat. I don't know what that is. I think that's like um silicon or plastic or something. Same with there. Um I got this where did I get this from? I don't remember. Oh, I bought this off some guy that had a, like a little racing Suzuki and then I imported a Recaro rail over from Japan so I could put it in the car properly because again, um, we don't get the cool little K parts over here. So I had to import them, including the floor mats too. These are called Primula um, and they have cool little patterns in them. You might be able to see, it's got a floral pattern. Driver's side is a bit worn out, but the passenger side is pretty good. <sighs> okay, let's see if the little mirror is gonna start. It's probably going to yell and scream to fix up the bracket for the alternator to stop it from squealing. So if it makes noises, don't worry, it's not dying. Well, I will check actually. My battery is really dead. Dead battery. Um, I do have to check with these because of the, the TRXX bonnet, uh, water comes in every now and then and gets into the spark plugs. And it has rained here for quite a while in the last couple of days. So I gotta make sure I don't get water in the spark plugs. It's a very odd problem to have. Yep, sweet. Okay, so there's no water in the spark plugs at least. That's a good thing. Double check the distributor. Yep, sweet, cool. I miss driving. Charge. Charge a little mirror. God, these are fun cars. I'd love to go take this through the mountain right now. Goodbye, sunshine. Let's see if the little mirror is going to start again. The battery was dead as a doornail, so I will need to probably take it to work and charge it. Running down a cylinder. Probably dirty plug. It'll clear up in a sec. Hey, we've just gone up a cylinder. There we go. Now we have all three cylinders. I haven't started this in probably about two months, so the poor little thing is probably needing a bit of a service. There we go. 
Am I gassing you out? Yeah. <laughs> sounds like a motorbike, but it's fuel. Oh yeah, speaking about motorbike, I'm gonna have to jump start my motorbike as well. <laughs> I haven't started that in a while. let those two run for a while. So I'm supposed to be picking up a, a 1JZ in the next couple of weeks, so I bought an engine stand for it, but I haven't got the motor yet. So yeah, I kind of went up a mountain and had a bit too much fun, broke both of my mirrors off, and I saved the bike from total annihilation, but I did do a bit of damage to the fairing kit here, and I hit the tank. Um, and then the rest of the bike kind of fell on my foot and destroyed my ankle a little, which has stopped me from doing all my training lately. But mechanically it was fine. I, I rode it another 400 kilometers after that, so the damage is pretty much aesthetic. It's just really annoying. Oh, yeah, now let's pump up that tire. Doesn't hurt to have these run for a little while. So this is a portable tire inflator. scream its head off though from that alternator belt. I love this little car. <laughs> it is so cool. Okay little mirror. I'm taking my phone this time. I'm just gonna go around the block. I'm going around the block. I'm gonna have my phone on me just in case it breaks. Hello little mirror. Oh I forgot how close these foot pedals are. So when I really get up it, it makes this little noise out of the bov. The little mirror is so much fun to drive around and to daily. Backyard to 
how great it is out there. It's so pretty. mode inside that lets me change the um, the colors and the patterns and stuff of the headlights. That's just my default mode. I can't remember if I have to open this from the inside. Yes, I do. So um, when, I, when I got this car, I picked up my big muscly friend and he grabbed the door and grabbed the door handle and pulled the entire car and broke my door handle. And then a couple of weeks later, I ended up importing another door handle from Thailand. I put it on and I picked him up again two days later from the gym and he done the same thing and broke my door handle again. So <laughs> I gave up fixing my passenger door handle. What are you fixing, Benjamin? Jesus. Fixing all the JZs. It needs a bath. Fixing so much as patching back together to see whether it works or not. Hmm. Okay, so the very reason I pulled these two out of the way, three, sorry, 
was and my bike it's because I want to get Ichigo out and I want to get all the stuff out of the inside of it that is currently stored in it that way I can send it down to the smash repairers in the next couple of weeks might start the 14 up as well the 14 run for a while Fucking start up honey. yeah why not Automotive, no, that's sealant. Ah, uh, I don't think I do, no, sorry. I don't have anything here. This is all just basic storage stuff. None of my actual. All right, let's give the 14 some runtime. Thing starts first time every time. How does that? Unfortunately, I won't leave this one running because I think it's running out of fuel. You get a little mirror. So yeah, we got the 14, the 32, the MX-5, the L200. Benjamin's working on the JZ30 Sora. These guys are not ours. I'll just explain really quickly. This guy is a 1J S14 that belongs to a friend of ours. He's currently on holiday, so uh, we're looking after it for him. Uh, and this one here is awaiting a donor motor to come in so we can fix it up and build it and get it running for the guy. This is Benjamin's Skyline. At the moment, he's changing the turbo on it. Yeah, I want to pull this out. Maybe I'll leave Ichigo in the garage and just pull everything out of it where it sits. Hey. Lighting wise, are you stealing all my bolts again? No. Yes. No, it's a hose clamp, not bolts. Stealing the hose clamp. This is why you can't share garages. Alright, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of crap in Ichigo that I have to get out. Voila! Man, 
I can't hear you, sorry. Yeah, I suppose. Too many what? You can go what? for drives with the MX-5s. You can go for drives with the K-Cars. The you can go for drives with the 180s. You can go for drives with the other 180s. Mm. Got my other one with the MX-13. You can go for drives with the 14 and my equivalent 33. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yosh. Thank you, Mushley. I'm all good. I'm good. I'm just moving the car forward so I can work on it because it's too close to the FD.